one time is all it takes to become an issue. Whether you're peer pressured or you're not, it just looks like fun. It only takes one time. Today, I'll be covering what addiction is, a personal story on how addiction has impacted my life, and how you can help someone struggling with addiction. Now, let's learn about addiction. According to Mara Tyler of Helpline Addiction, of Helpline, addiction is a brain, is a chronic dysfunction of the brain that involves reward, motivation, and memory. It's about the way your body craves the substance. The most common addictions are alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, and gambling. All can be treated, and someone struggling can get help, but I will plan on that later. Now let me tell you how addiction has impacted my life. My dad, Gary Lorenz, born July 21st, 1964, was a recovered drug addict. He first started using when he was 12, when he first smoked pot. He expanded on to meth when he was 18, and when asked if why he started using meth, he said that he never felt as good or as high as others, but once he tried it, it felt equal. He would work then use, work then use. He lost everything five times over, family, homes, job, cars, and even two life or two years to prison. He tried treatment six times before on the seventh he finally really wanted to quit. On that seventh time, or he, when asked about his treatment, he said that he could have taught the class. That's how many times he was he had been there. But on the seventh time, he decided to finally shut up and listen. He's doing better now today after being clean for 16 years. He enjoys fishing with the kids, spending time with the dog, and even spending time with his granddaughter. He also spends time at his job in Jamestown working nights at the Crisis Residential Unit, which is a uh, place for drug and alcohol treatment. He is reminded almost daily of where he should be if he went back to using. Now let me tell you how you can help someone struggling with addiction. According to Try Help, seven tips should be used to help, it, to help a recovering addict. You should first educate yourself and learn and get a better understanding of their addiction. Next, you should get support and counseling along with specialty help. These three help bring in others that have gone through this before and are almost professionals. Next, you should never enable and have realistic expectations. Becoming clean may take a couple of tries, and I know my dad had a few more than just a couple, but he got through it. Next, you should take care of yourself. Being stressed can cause resentment and strain between you and the person you're trying to help. Finally, you should know that you aren't alone and that there are other resources and support if needed, such as the addiction, North Dakota Addic Drug, Drug and Alcohol Addiction Hotline, as seen on the screen behind me. Today, we viewed what addiction is, a personal story on how addiction has impacted my life, and how someone can help someone else recover from addiction. Recovery from addiction is not a destination, but a journey <coughs> that requires courage, determination, and support. And with the right mindset and resources, every step forward is a triumph worth celebrating.